Hey, what's up, folks? Jumbox here with the very first episode of Let's Play Transport Fever. Transport Fever is a new game that's been released recently, um, November 8th, if I remember correctly. And as the name suggests, it's all about transport by land, sea, and air. So, um, I'm sure this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but uh, I personally enjoy um, playing these um, economy sims. Unfortunately, I have to record it in windowed mode, because Shadowplay doesn't work in full screen. I don't know why. But, um, yeah, <laughs> let's get started, I suppose, with a free game. You're going to pick EU um, Custom, go to Advanced, and then uh, we're going to take American Vehicles. I love them. Terrain is European, because American is just desert. I don't know what the devs were thinking about uh, making the United States all desert, but uh, yeah, I suppose it's a thing. Then we are going to make American town names. Trees are European. Buildings are American. Streets, American. American. Environment, American. And Scenario, USA. So, saving that. World size. I'm gonna take a small world because medium and large worlds currently have, um, let's just say, the game isn't um, very optimized for medium and large maps, especially in mid to late game. The performance is becoming abysmal. The more you build, the worse it gets. So I'm gonna leave it with small. The devs have said. Um, they're going to address the performance issues in the coming weeks. So hopefully we get to see some medium and large maps too. Terrain type, for the world size small, I'm gonna go with flat. It's not going to be um, all that flat. There are going to be some tunnels and uh, cutting into the terrain and all that. So, start year, 1850. Difficulty, we're gonna take medium. Easy is a little bit too easy. Medium is just right and hard is like... Uh, yeah, as the tooltip says, you will go bankrupt. So, let's get started, I suppose. The game is pretty much um, like Railroad Tycoon and um, what's it other called? Transport Giant. Well, something like that. It's not that in depth when it comes to. Uh, Transporting goods um, with the, with, the um, with how many goods there are available, but um, it's it's still pretty good. I like it. So let's do a little overview over the map. We've got three towns here, two here, and two up here. Mm, I'm gonna pick a central town from which I'm going to run train lines to all the other cities. I usually do this on the small maps. I have um, sort of a um, main hub and then I have lines going through uh, to all the cities. And I'm thinking about making Anchorage the main town. It has a decent size. But then Billings, well, not so sure yet. Nah, let's go with Anchorage. And it's right next to water. We can um, hook that up with a sea line to Lubbock and. What's this? Carrollton? Okay, uh, let's get started first. What I usually do is to connect the streets up. This is better for um, bus and tram lines. Mm -hmm, there we go. And then connect this up. It's gonna cost a little bit of money, but uh, we're going to make that back very quickly. There we go. 
And let's see, maybe we can upgrade this one. Last little piece. Here we go. Let's lay down our first train track. There are two types of tracks, uh, train stations. And that is the passenger station, as you can see here. There's another terminal station, this is kind of like an end point, an end station. And then there are of course the freight stations and its counterpart with the end point. Let's start with the train station, I'm going for maximum length and how many cities are there if I'm gonna connect them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Let's go for a number of tracks, uh, 6. And performance is going down. Uh, hang on. Which direction should I? Um, I suppose this direction would be best. So yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna remove this road for now. It gives us a warning because we interrupted a main um, connection. Don't worry, we're gonna connect this back up as soon as we got the train station laid down. And we're doing this... Um, let's see... At this curvature. Right here. Okay. Now we got half a million left, I'm gonna take a little bit, um, I'm gonna go a little bit um, into that with loan. Three and a half million, should be okay. We can go up to ten million. Money, of course, is made back relatively quickly. Okay, first connection. How about Lubbock? Or maybe Carlton. No, what's it called? Carrollton! Oh, this is going over water. But it's relatively flat. So let's connect Carrollton first. Let's lay some standard tracks. And as you can see, the numbers indicate the speed of um, the trains. Maximum speed. We currently have the standard rails. There are other rails available later on. Um, high speed rails that allow speeds up to uh, 300 kilometers per hour. And you want to um, avoid curves that are too, um, too tight. As you can see, we only can drive 45. Well, at the beginning, this isn't much of a problem because the trains they, they only drive with 40, 45 anyway. But later on, you definitely want a higher speed, so always plan ahead. Okay. I'm gonna go over the right here and then lay it up here. But first, I'm gonna need. Connect some roads here. Let's do it with the small road. Hmm. There's always one building removed. Ah, there we go. Now we can switch that to a medium road. And connect that up. If I can get the curvature right. There we go. This makes it easier for buses and trams to get around. Oh, come on. There we go. By the way, if the music annoys you, you can always deactivate it. If that's what you desire. It's kind of like an elevator music. I don't know why the devs put that in, but... Uh, I suppose it's here to stay. There we go. And we can put the train station right here, actually. 
we're gonna take uh, three tracks full length just two as part of the planning ahead mm, we can do this right here a little costly but uh, it'll pay off in the end you gotta have to invest money in order to make money And I'm gonna put up a smaller track here, connect it to the first one, and build a depot. That's why we buy trains and wagons. Ah, damn it! <laughs> damn it! This isn't what I wanted. There we go. Unfortunately, both buildings cannot be moved, only removed. It's a bit annoying, but. Uh, as person in real world, you wouldn't just move a building over if you place it a, <laughs> a meter too far. Uh, let's see. Collision, collision. Why can't I do this here? It should be possible. Uh, collision, collision. No. Doing it fine until here. <laughs> okay, so we have to trick a little here. Uh, let's remove this piece, and then we're making a little bit of a higher bridge. Can do this with this little arrow here. Can either go up or down. Okay, this should work now. Place this over here and go down a little, then adjust the track accordingly. Okay, that's half a million, but I suppose that's how it goes. Let's make this a little bit more straight and put a stone bridge in. Stone bridges allow up to 90 kilometers per hour, whereas the Wooden bridge only allows 60. The um, metal bridge allows up to full 120. But in preparation for the future, I'm going to make it stone. And we can go down again. And it aligns with the terrain perfectly. Let's see, maybe we can get some more out of it. This would be 120. Uh, let's see. Yeah, if we snake it around here, should be okay. Mm, this is going to be a tunnel. Not perfect. Oh, right. <laughs> Let's try this again. As you can see, it cuts into the terrain. It's either filling up or cutting into the rain, depending on what it needs. So, how are we gonna do this? A tunnel here. I suppose this would be okay. It's in quite deep. Hmm, terrain alignment vision. So, road is in the way. Let's remove it. We can pick that up later on. Let's move this 
back a little bit and then connect it up a little drop here but it's okay it's the end of this um, track anyway okay that's the first connection now I'm going to reconnect the roads this is number one Okay, this isn't working. Make a little bridge here. It's a weird looking road, but uh, <laughs> I suppose it'll do. There we go. Yeah, it's a weird road. But hey, as long as it connects. Okay. Need a bit, a bit more of a loan. 2.3 million, almost. So the next thing we're going to do is to set up bus stations. First we need a road depot. We have both a road depot and a tram depot. I like the road depot more, it's more flexible in my opinion. And we're placing that in the industrial area. And place it. Next thing we're going to do is to hook up our train station with the rest of the town via bus line. So we're going to take the bus and tram stop, place the first two stops here. We're going to have two lines, one that goes um, clockwise and one that goes counterclockwise. So the next station is going to be here. When you place down the station you can see how much of a radius it has. People within that radius can reach the station or can from go from the station to um, anything in the vicinity. So next we place here, then we place one here, place one down here and then we are going around, place one here, one here and one down here. That way we have most of the town, and pretty much all of the town, um, in the vicinity of the bus line. So now we have to make the line. We go to the line manager down here, new line, and pick this as our starting point. And then once around the clock, click on each stop, put it into the, uh, into the list here, then we rename it, this is, I forgot the name again, Carrollton, okay, gonna name this Carrollton Bus Clock. Then the next line is counterclockwise. Okay, and then the, gonna call this Carlton Boss C Clock for counterclock. And call it one. Oh no, let's call it two. Good, now we just need buses. In the beginning, it's 1850, we don't really have buses yet, but we have carriages. 
I'm gonna buy... Uh, let's start with three of them. For each line. Bus clock. Then we buy three more. And counter clock. That's our first bus lines. They will ship people around the town, make money for us and deliver them at the strange station. We do the same thing here down in uh, Anchorage. So, let's place the depot again. Let's see where's... There's the industrial area. Let's place it here. There we go. Let's place the bus stations. Next to train station, of course. Then we make the first one. Let's do it here. One up here. One here. One here. Let's place the next ones here. And here, yeah, here. That should be good. This is Anchorage. Let's make the bus line for Anchorage. New line. First clockwise and then counterclockwise. There we go. Rename it. Anchorage bus clock one. Close that and a new line. And make it counterclockwise. That way people can go into two, uh, both directions. Gives a better coverage and a bit more money. So let's call this. Anchorage bus C clock 2. And then, last but not least, we need a train route. So let's make a new line. Pick Anchorage. And pick Carrington. I'm gonna name this Train Anchorage. Dash Carrollton. From Anchorage to Carrollton. Oh. Okay, it's only Carrollton. Whatever. So let's buy a train. In the beginning, the trains are pretty crappy. We got the Baldwin 6 wheels, cost um, 172,000. It's pretty slow with 40 kilometers. That's only a power of 70 kilowatts and um, tractive of 25 kilonewtons. Lifespan is only 30 years and running costs about 29,000 per year. So let's buy the first one. Buy. Then we have a little um, window here for the train depot where you can either buy more trains or close the window set the line, and so on and so forth. So, we need some passenger cars. At the beginning, the trains aren't all that great, so... Two passenger cars. That's pretty much um, the maximum it can, it can um, reliably um, tow. So, let's set the line. Anchorage to Carrollton. And let's unpause the game. And here it comes, our first little train, with lots of steam. And a driver who doesn't do anything. You can see him right here, just standing around, he's not doing anything, he just looks into the air. Looks at the smoke. Very interesting smoke. It's not, he's not actually driving the engine, he's not doing anything. He's just 
there he he exists on the train. So that's gonna take a little while before the game decides. Oh, there's some lines here. Gotta start using them. So that's gonna take a little bit of time, which is why we're gonna speed it up. Just a tad. To be honest, I love the models in the game. They look really good. And they start uh, to show some wear and tear. The older they get, the more rusty and uh, used they look. That is a, a great thing. I think that this, uh, it gives the game a little bit... Uh, that extra touch. And as you can see here, we've got a little um, window here. We can look at the details. We can look at the age of the lo um, locomotive, its value, which is currently 97%. We have the running costs. Running costs um, go up as the value goes down and the age goes up. Then we have the top speed. The current weight, the length, the power, the loading speed, and we can choose a color. We can make it blue, for example, or pink. But to be honest, really, who wants to drive in a pink lock? I sure I wouldn't. Then we have the finances. Here we can see how much. Um, money a little locomotive makes, or rather how much a line here makes. Back to the overview, still no passenger, nothing waiting, but we've got our first passengers here, four of them, who wants to, who want to go to Carrollton. There they are, standing around. Always looking into the air. I'm not sure what's up there. I can't see it. Are you looking at the clouds or something? I don't know. Let's look at the little info here, info chart. Here we can see um, our income from the lines. So. Oh! <laughs> I forgot. Wait. Ah, yeah. <laughs> I forgot to buy it. Buy road vehicles, three of them. Set line, encourage, and three more. And there we go. This little info um, window tells us how many vehicles are on that line, how much cargo is being transported. The frequency is um, how often a, um, a vehicle arrives at a stop. Currently its frequency is 3 minutes. For the train it's 14 minutes. This of course goes down as uh, everything becomes faster. And we can see the age and the income. Currently we are not making any money whatsoever. And we can take a closer look at um, our vehicles here, in this little vehicle list. And we can see the balance. Is it paying for itself? Is it doing any money? No. The age, the cargo, and the line it's, um, it belongs to. Then we have the station list. This uh, shows us everything. Let me click on it a little. Come on. It doesn't want to. Okay. I thought we could filter this. Okay, so it's a station list. We have the depot list. We got the industry list to see what um, type of industry is available. We have, um, for example, coal mines, food processing plants, um, logging camps. Goods factory, quarries, steel mills, iron ore mine, machine factories, oil refineries, chemical plants, construction material plants, farms, sawmill, 
and so on and so forth. Not many industries, but um, it can be quite a, uh, a challenge to get all of them connected and working. For example, here is a little quarry. We could transport stone from here to this factory where it makes construction materials and you can um, either deliver stone or slag or both whatever you want okay let's speed the game up a little bit again we got 18 people waiting and a capacity of 28 so we are pretty pretty full oh 19 And you can actually look into these wagons by clipping. <laughs> A little x-ray vision here. I'm not sure how they how those two people are sitting here. I mean they kinda look like Siamese twins. But yeah, you can you can actually look through the windows into the cars and uh, see the people si people sitting in there. So let's make our first delivery of people. We've got 19 of 28. And that is going to be it for this episode, once we delivered it. And let's take a quick look. Uh, still not making any money. That's okay, it takes a little while to get things going. People are starting to appear next to the stations. That's a good thing. The more people there are, the more we're gonna make. And I'm gonna take another loan of 500,000. Just to tie us over. Starting to rust already? Uh, I think a little bit. It's a year old, so it should start showing some a little bit of wear and tear. And I love the graphics in this game. I mean, it's it's still looking like Train Fever, the uh, first game in the series, but uh, still, it's great graphics. I like it. And we made our first delivery, we got 80.4k out of this. And we are picking up new passengers, 9 of them, and bringing back to Anchorage. So, I suppose this is it for the first episode, I hope you liked it. As always, if you want to support the channel, then please like, share and subscribe. And I hope I see you again next time. Until then, stay safe!